know me as DMT. Man, the NFL, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Martavis Bryant. They let him know today that he'll be inactive for week eight against the Lions. Damn. That's kind of good for me, baby. Lion gang. But anyway, he was working out with the scout team today, letting him know that he will not be a part of this week's game plan. Now, this is huge. Martavis has been in the media. He missed practice to have an interview. He's been handling a lot of in-house business with the media, and the Pittsburgh Steelers don't really like that. They don't do that. That's not the kind of organization they are. They handle things in-house. And if you go to the media, there's going to be consequences. So I knew Mike Tomlin was not going to go for that. So this is huge. They're trying to reel Martavis in. They've dealt with a lot of things with him, him being suspended. They, they stayed with him. They didn't release him. They stuck with him. So now, you know, I think he needs to be a little patient and work his way back into the offense. Big Ben still has to, you know, get a little chemistry with him also. So he's been frustrated. He's been going to the media. And now the Steelers are letting him know, like, we need to reel this in and, you know, you're not going to distract us from preparing for our next game because that's what you should be focused on as a football team, your next game. They're playing my Detroit Lions and if they're distracted, they're going to get their ass whooped. You already know, Lion Gang, Matt Stafford ain't playing. So the Steelers need to be focused and Martavis has become a distraction and the Steelers need to nip that in the bud and get that team focused on the next game. They don't need to be ask, answering questions about Martavis Bryant and trade rumors and all these things. They already said, Mike Tomlin said, we've invested too much into Martavis to trade him. And he's trying to become a problem to get out, but the Steelers could just hold on to these rights and, you know, suspend him and not give him an opportunity to play and hold him out of game. So it's best for him to go along, be patient, and then when he gets those opportunities, go crazy. And if he wants to get out in two years, you know, go to another team. But majorly stop, you know, doing the things with the media. The Steelers are not the organization to go to the media and try to use that against them because that's not going to work. That hasn't worked throughout their history, and it's not going to work now. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. SDMT!